For those of you guys who want to improve your 2K skills, check out the first ever 2K ebook. For only $10, you guys can know some of the most unstoppable and cheesiest plays in NBA 2K20. The link to that ebook will be the first link in the description. Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's YBC, and I am back. Bring another video, and in this video, I am going to be bringing to you guys a gameplay with the brand new Prime VIP Pink Diamond, Walt Frazier. Before we hop into it and everything, if you guys could do me a real quick favor and smash the like button on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. Let's see if we get that like goal up to 475 likes on this video. I'll be straight into it right here. As you guys can see in front of us on the screen today, we do have the main men of the hour, this Ping Diamond Walt Frazier. And first things first that I noticed about this card right here, as this card right here is the first Series 2 Prime VIP player, his card art is a lot different than the Series 1 Prime players. Taking a look at the background of this Walt Frazier card right here, it looks like a star. When we take a look at this, Ping Diamond Yao Ming, who is from the Series 1. It kind of looks like a V-shaped form background. Personally, I do like this card art for the Series 2 a lot better. Major props to 2K for giving us some cool card art on this Walt Frazier card. Now, when it comes to Walt Frazier cards in general in my team history, they've been a hit or miss. Like last year back in NBA 2K19, my team, it was a hit because 2K gave that Walt Frazier card base 11, which was the best jump shot in the game. But other than that, guys, back in NBA 2K18 and so on and so forth, they've been misses because they weren't really so good. This year right here, guys, NBA 2K20, my team, I'm very confident 2K hit with this Walt Frazier card because they've been juicing up cards left and right lately in my team. Now, when it comes to the price on how much I did pay for this Pink Diamond Walt Frazier card right here, I did pay 114,000 MT. Is he worth 114,000 MT? I don't know. We'll definitely find out when we get some gameplay with this card in this video. First things first, though, before we hop into the gameplay, we are going to be taking a look at this man's badging and attributes, and we'll get straight into it. As 2K made him a half shooting guard, half point guard, standing at six foot four, weighing it at a solid 200 pounds. Coming with 18 total Hall of Fame badges, which are Hall of Fame Floor General, Catch and Shoot, Needle Threader, Acrobat, slip, Slithery Finisher, Relentless Finisher, Fancy Full Work, Contact Finisher, Consistent Finisher, Tireless Defender, Hall of Fame Diamond, Pickpocket, Pick Dodger, Clamps, Defensive Leader, Heart Crusher, Interceptor, and Off Ball Pest. 2K also gave him 22 gold badges as well. I'm going to be naming off and reading the most important gold badges that 2K gave him, in which are Gold Intimidator, Trapper, Cross Key Score, Giant Slayer, Downhill handles for days, quick first step, tight handles, unflexible, flexible release, green machine, and gold quick draw. Taking a look at the attributes for this card right here, 2K gave him a 98 driving layup, 90 draw foul, 98 close shot, 96 mid range, 93 pointer, 95 free throw, and an 85 driving duck. Offensively, he looks like a complete stud. 2K also gave him a 95 ball handle, which is very solid, as well as a 95 passing accuracy, as well as a 70 block, 98 steal, 98 perimeter defense, and an 80 interior defense. His rebounding is pretty below average, but he's a point guard. Doesn't really matter too much about the rebounding. His speed is on point at 97, 97 speed with ball, 92 vertical, 98 stamina, 98 lateral quickness, and a 98 defensive consistency. And to wrap it up, he comes with a 90 offensive consistency. Now, right before we did hop into the gameplay right here, I did want to take a quick look at his hot zones and get, get a little bit familiar with his jump shot, see what his jump shot is looking like. His hot zones are solid. Take a look at his jump shot right here. That is cash. Oh my goodness, I did not expect for Walt Frazier to have that type of jump shot. This jump shot is smooth. Oh my goodness. I understand that last year he had base 11, like I said earlier, but like I said earlier again, he's been a hit or miss. And this card right here, based off his jump shot, badging and, att and attributes, definitely is a hit and definitely looks very solid. This man is a green, a walking green machine. Without further ado now, let's hop into the gameplay and see how it performs on the court. I can't wait to use him on the court. Our opponent for this game right here has himself a very solid team all around. Pink Diamond Stockton, Pink Diamond Harden, Bowen, and Ben Wallace, as well as Spencer Haywood. This is going to be a pretty good game. It's going to be a Stockton versus Frazier matchup. My opponent, John Stockton, is a great defender. But while Frazier is probably better offensively, nice move right there for Frazier. Taking an off dribble mid. Oof. Not a good start to the game at all from Walt Frazier. I have him on a cold ring. I have missed my first three shots and I also have a backcourt violation. Now you start the game knows always how you end it. We're tagging Pink going all the way with a nice slam dunk. Go to work right here with Walt Frazier. A nice pick and pop between Frazier and D-Rob. Tagging the Pink again. Oh, we have the mid range. We're going to take that and we're making that. Nice shot right there at the elbow from Walt Frazier. The thing I love about this Walt Frazier card is his animations. It is insane. Good screen right there. From D Rob, snatching it back. 4 3 is walled. Bang! You can't leave this man open with any separation. 
I'm going to make you pay every single time. His release is too money. Good point inside by Giannis. Let's go. Up to Walt Frazier right here on the break. Walt Frazier tagging the paint with a foot of steam going all the way. Tough flip and finish. Great stuff by Walt on that fast break. Great steal from Frazier. On a fast break, we're all alone. Frazier going all the way. Making that layup. I got kind of nervous right there. He laid it up. I thought he was going to go for a slam dunk, but points are points, and I will take them. Good defense. Giannis with the steal. My opponent got baited up to Walt Frazier right here. On a break, I'm going to stop and pop for three. Another green light for Walt Frazier. He is, like I said, a walking green machine. I love this card. Oh, good defense. I baited my opponent again to Walt Frazier on a break. And I would have stopped and popped that one, but that's the thing about this card I, I don't like. There's one thing I don't like is that he does not have that rain extending badge. She has no rain extender. As we are open for three again from deep, and that is no good. Partly because he has no rain extender, guys. I shot that one like three feet behind the three-point line, and I was kind of nervous when I shot it. Good board inside by Giannis. Let's go. On a fast break right here. I see Frazier spotting up in the left corner. Right corner, excuse me, for three. Another green light for Walt Frazier. I believe right now that is his fifth three-pointer. Maybe fourth. I honestly lost count. He's just beasting and feasting. I love this card a lot. Frazier right here attacking the paint. Let's actually take the mid-range. Wide open, green beam. Nice shot right there from Frazier. He overplayed the paint like crazy. And if you're going to overplay the paint, I'm going to make you pay every single time with that easy mid-range. Good defense. No way in the world that goes in. He airballed that. Let's go lock up. That's great defense again. No way. That's the airball. Another airball. Board by T-Mac. Up to wall. Down the court. Hop stepping. Going all the way. And that layup is good. Another tough finish. And led by Walt Frazier is good. We have our largest lead of the game right now. I believe at 10 points. Nice move from Frazier. Snatching it back. This might be a little too deep out of his range. Yes, it was. It was halfway down and out. Mainly because he does not have ring extending. Badge. It's all good, though. Up to Walt Frazier right here on a break. We're going to take another mid-range off the dribble and another green light. No matter if it's him taking a moving shot or if he's standing, this man just simply greens everything. Tag and pay right here with a full head of steam. Walt Frazier going all the way. His lip over Jokic is good. Walt now with 28 points for the game. And that was nearly an inbound steal. He threw that one right over my head. Good steal from Richard Jefferson. We ended up getting a steal anyway. To Walt Frazier. I'm going to try and stop and pop this three on the break. Bang! Another three-pointer is good, guys. And just like that, Walt Frazier has his first takeover badge of the game. That's out of bounds. Terrible pass by my opponent. And we have our first takeover badge, which is the shot-creating takeover badge. So I'm definitely going to take some moving mid-ranges and some moving shots right here with this badge. I'm going to try to take a moving mid right here. He's actually fouling me on this play. Looks like I'm getting double teamed right here. He's trying to split the double team. I don't. But I'm going to take the mid-range off the dribble and another green light from Walt Frazier. Let's go. Good screen from Yao in the backcourt. I don't have range extender. That's off. So that's just the main thing about this card, guys. At the start of the second half right now, I do have a little bit of takeover left. Gonna try and utilize that. Going all the way, blowing past everybody for a nice two-handed dunk. No way in the world that goes in. Come on, board that up. Good board by Yao. Up to Wall right here on the break. Let's go, Wall. Tied paint with the foot of steam. Let's go. Hop step and lay. Oh, good move and finish. Let's go. Start of this fourth quarter right here. My opponent still has Bob Cousy on Walt Frazier. And he's almost lost the ball. Then tied the paint though with Walt. Hop stepping out to Ray Allen. Wide open catch and shoot green. Beam for Ray Allen. Was that a three or a two? That was a three. Let's go. Our lead is now at 17 points. My opponent's playing reckless. And this might be a rage quit now. It, it might be, guys. He's pausing the game. We'll just simply have to wait and see what he does. All right, guys. So after like 15 seconds, my opponent closed the application and he has left the match. GG to him. He did, play a, he did play a pretty good one, but Walt Frazier and the squad was just simply too much for him. So Walt Frazier did end up finishing off this game with 43 total points and 4 assists. I do apologize about not really commentating over the third quarter that much, and that was mainly because my opponent started sending double teams to Walt Frazier, which was kind of frustrating and irritating to play up against. So I couldn't really get much going with Walt Frazier in the third quarter, but nonetheless, guys, he still had a very solid performance. Moving on now to the card review for Pink Diamond Walt Frazier. I'm going to give him a solid 9.5 out of 10. I feel like this card right here is flawless. He's one of the elite point guards in the game, but he is just missing one thing for me to give him a 10 out of 10, and that is range, range extender. Defensively with this card, he is elite. He can stay in front of and guard anyone on the court. Offensively, he has a cash money jump shot. He can dunk. He has mid-range. He has a three ball. 
But the only thing he does not have is that rain extending badge in which allows him to shoot from like three, four feet behind the line. Because, because of that, guys, that is the only reason why I'm going to give him a 9.5 out of 10. But nonetheless, guys, nonetheless, he belongs in the category of elite point guards like Penny Hardaway, Galaxy Opal, Diamond Ben Simmons, Pink Diamond Derrick Rose, Pink Diamond Baron Davis. Walt Frazier is a guy who we need to put in that list because he is a beast. Now, answering the question that I asked earlier on, is this card worth 114,000 MT? Most definitely. He's actually worth over 200,000 MT. If he was going for over 200,000 MT, guys, I would say pick him up. I would think it would be worth it. Considering he is now around 100,000 MT, I think that that is a steal for how good this Walt Frazier card plays on the court. So that right there is pretty much going to do it in this video. I will catch all of you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all of the support. Make sure you guys go on ahead and consider hitting that subscribe button. We're on the grind at 80,000 subscribers. And also drop a like would be greatly appreciated on this video. And as usual, and as always, it's YBC, and I'm out. Peace.